Hey everybody, how you doing? It's uh, it's Saturday, it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm currently at the uh, Clark Canyon Reservoir in Montana. And uh, we have an invitation to go camp on an alpaca farm just east of Salt Lake City. Now we're some ways away. This is gonna take the better part of the day by the time we resupply, but uh, I'm anxious to get there. So anyway, I'm gonna take the dogs for a walk real quick. Uh, the van's already loaded up and we will be on our way shortly. We just pulled over to take a quick break here, let the dogs jump out of the van and, and go do their business. Uh, we've already been to Idaho Falls and stocked up, and I'm just off the freeway here at uh, McCammon, Idaho. This is actually, I'm going to take a detour here and uh, uh, get down into, of course, uh, Idaho and Wyoming and then back into Utah. So I think today is, is a four-state day. Yeah, Montana. Um, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah. And it kind of sounds nuts, but so right now we're you know by McCammon. Um, I, I camped here last year. I'm actually here now at the abandoned state park, the abandoned Petroglyph State Park. It was abandoned about 40 years ago and uh, has subsequently been turned back over to the BLM. If you want more information about it, uh, I've got a video that I'll link to it. But uh, these two pillars here. That's the entrance, and of course the flagpoles are the entrance to the old state park. And as you get back down in there, you can start to see the infrastructure that was there. But, you know, as I recall, uh, back in the day when this thing opened, apparently there was a little bit of, um, uh, you know, some, some people sort of a little bit concerned at the premium that it would cost to stay here. And so I think it was full hookups were like uh, $4 a day. So <laughs> times have changed. Anyway, uh, I'm going to jump back in the van. I'm going to get over to the other side of the highway over here on Highway 30. I'm going to clean the windshield so that we can both see a little bit better. But hang tight and we'll get the windshield clean and hopefully we can show you something other than just <laughs> the barren landscape that's out here. So I made it to uh, Alpacaville. Um, camp Adorable, I think is what we're gonna call this place. Uh, you can see the ladies behind me. We're camped right in the uh, actual meadow or grazing area here. Um, Chaz and Lucky are having a blast. The, the couple here that is hosting us, um, they also foster dogs. So Chaz and Lucky are having an absolute blast. But I'll share more with you tomorrow. I think for now, I'm gonna go enjoy a nice big plate of uh, alpaca tacos. See you soon. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Cause baby, I feel real good and I wish y'all would. It's gotta be against the law to look this damn good. Everybody watch out. Watch out now. I'm ready for a good time, and I came to groove. The whole band's here, and we came to move. Got a fresh haircut and two new shoes. We're here all night like we got nothing to lose. So overall, we only spent, I think, two nights here. And had it not been for some uh, incoming bad weather, it would have been terrific to have stayed just a bit longer. So now, what does one get from an alpaca ranch, aside from the obvious smiles? Well, some of the world's softest and most premium yarn. Now this stuff is absolutely amazing. 
I asked if there was any chance that somebody could knit me a pimp jacket, but apparently I'd have to sell everything I own. Special thanks to our gracious hosts, Jim and Deb. I'll leave an email in the description below if you're interested in their yarn, or if you're in the Salt Lake City area and you're interested in providing a forever home for one of their fosters. And a goodbye for now to our dear friend Tracy. We'll see you next year. But not before a surprise from our new friend Jim. You see, Jim is an actor, and on our last night, he treated us to his latest project, Polygamy Gone Wrong, a short-format independent film on Amazon Prime where he plays Brother Thomas. Now, this project was also filmed here at what I call Camp Adorable, and yes, there are alpaca cameos. You can also find Jim playing Mr. Johnson in the film City of Salt, also on Amazon Prime. So I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for us over here at uh, Camp Adorable. Um, we, uh, we woke up this morning and uh, I found myself in some uh, rather deep irrigation water. So we had to hustle to make sure that we didn't get stuck. And we also have to sort of hustle too because some bad weather is setting in and we need to, uh, to go south. So I want to give a special thanks to both Jim and Deb for hosting us over here at Camp Adorable. And I hope you certainly enjoyed the video too. It's, I'll tell you, it's hard to be, uh, hard to be stressed when you're looking into those faces. And um, they also foster dogs too. So um, it's, it's just such a wonderful atmosphere and I really, really enjoyed myself. Anyway, look, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Um, be well, be safe, and uh, I'll be back. Bye now. So stay tuned for next time when my van breaks down again. Stanley and I help out at an injury accident and of course it snows right after Labor Day. Can I take your picture? I can't take your picture? No? Why not? You think I'm handsome too, huh? Oh you don't? I'm a handsome man, aren't I? What do you think? No?